We're going to deal with the, the term passport. I'm not going to get into too much on the legal definition. I've, I've done that in previous videos, but the, the understanding of the passport, I think, is, is quite mind-boggling um, to me that people haven't seen this. When, uh, when you try to leave an area, which is what's going on right now with this crazy thought of a pandemic, with a lockdown, people don't realize there always was a lockdown. You can't leave without a passport. So you're already a prisoner in concept with the passport. Someone who's spiritual does not require a passport. And in fact, I did speak with a government official at the time, at the top end uh, of an attorney general office and asked him directly, uh, based on the first document that was filled out as an accusation, with the assignment of a legal surname onto my real name, my God-given name. And I asked him, do I need a passport? And he said, no. If I had that document, I didn't need one because you can't use that document for identification anyways. Uh, it has to be used in combination with the birth certificate, which is not to be confused with the statement of birth record. So anyways, uh, truth does not need a passport. Fiction needs a passport. So if you're in the legal fiction, you're, you're going to require a passport and you will also be in ward. Uh, you will be a ward of the state. Uh, and the ward, wardship is based on legal incompetency and being controlled by someone who's in charge of that. And so this is how the system of legal operates. I'm not there to offend anybody. I'm just there to just say this is what research brings about and anybody can do this. I'm going to break down another very important word. And at first I actually had a chuckle. Uh, when I found it, uh, I was looking in the Black's 10th edition law books. I hope uh, I'm current at least that this is, I don't know if they've come up with the 11th yet, but the 10th. So this is what I'm reading out of. And uh, Black's 10th has a definition, and I'm going to go through uh, three versions of it. I'm going to go from the word insinuar to insinuatio to insinuation. So insinuar, spelled I-N-S-I-N-U-A-R-E. So it's almost like if I had to break it down, it's in sin you are. So I'm like saying you're in sin. So what is the meaning of that word? Share to us. Here's, here's insinuar, Latin, Roman civil law which is the same as Roman pagan law, to register, to deposit an instrument with a public registry. Insinuatio, law Latin, historic, information or suggestion. Be careful what I just said there. I said information or suggestion. I'm suggesting something. This term sometimes appeared in the phrase ex insinuation, on the information, which is the precursor to the modern on information and belief. See information and belief. Those terminologies are on most of the birth information records that the parents filled out at the hospital. In particular, in Ontario, uh, or in Canada, you would find that on the statement of birth record. Insinuation, civil law, the act of depositing an instrument with a public registry for recording. A document that evidences a donation of property. Now, remember I broke down donation before, like do nation. It's, it's got to do with the legal system. The word donation is not in the Bible. It's, it's not gift. It could be used in a direction that would seem like gift in the uh, in the world of uh, legal. But when man gives a gift, be careful uh, receiving these gifts because uh, when you take something for granted, it probably has something attached to it that's not much of a gift. It's probably a gift of debt to take on a legal assignment. So the last name is, to my best uh, research, a donative assignment. 
it, it carries debt with it and it's enforceable as a contract in law. So once you took on that donative assignment or you adopted it into your usage or possession, you carry the responsibility that comes with it, all duties, debts, and obligations. But interestingly, it is really spelled out in Black's Law how these birth registries actually operate. And uniquely under the definition in sin, you are. As I said, in the Garden of Eden, when Adam and Eve had partaken from the forbidden fruit, in sin, you ate Adam and Eve because they ate sin at that moment. So an insinuation is how the system works with you participating in sin or legal, which is opposite to grace. So it takes a little time to get your head around these concepts, but you have the ability, which is great on these videos, you have the ability to even dispute the video if you want. <laughs> you can actually uh, you know, send me a message, which people have done in the past, usually not friendly if they are disputing it. It's because it's so overwhelmingly truthful that it, it uh, destroys the foundation of where people were before because their feeling of stability and truth can be falsely founded in the fiction side or in the unspiritual side, the profane side, outside the temple of God side. So we have to be careful that all the things you've been affected by in the legal system, which is run by Satan, not to be confused with law, the God of law, God's law. Legal is man's version of law. It has nothing to do with God's law or what we consider natural law. It's got to do with Roman law, pagan law, man's positive law, what he does. It has nothing to do with morals or good behavior. So uh, we have to do the research we're obligated to. And if you can find something that's contrary to this, uh, certainly share it. Uh, you, don't have to, uh, you don't have to remain silent on it. And certainly it's good to question and we've always invited people to do that on the videos that they can actually uh, send us an email if they'd like. And you can go to the child 144 at gmail.com. No problem. Uh, love to hear from people and hopefully everybody's doing the research, but uh, certainly try to keep the behavior calm on the emails uh, because I won't respond to uh, crazy anger. Uh, if that's the way it's going to come across, best thing to do is just share truth and information if you, or truth and knowledge that you found, but please don't, don't, uh, don't use it as a, as a forum just for nonsense.